So this tutorial is going to focus on the emblem installation involving removal of the panel. Apologize for the voice overlay, but first you remove this panel. All you have to do is put your hand and pull and your six clips comes off fairly easy. Now you have to remove two Phillips screw on each side. Go ahead and grab your tool and remove the screws from the panel. While I'm doing that, notice that there's a wire there as well. That wire is for the brake light tap. So if you are pursuing a brake light behavior, that's the tap you're going to be targeting. And I'll talk about that more later on. Once you remove the two screws, I would go ahead and remove the trunk button by using a plastic tool trim. Let's try to slide it in between the, the button exterior pull and it will come off. Then go ahead and simply pinch and detach. Reason why we want to do this is because when we remove the panel, we don't want to accidentally yank out the whole thing. So once that's done, you're going to remove the panel. We've already removed the left panel. So to do so, you all you have to do is pull outward and then pull downward and it'll come off. There are no screws. It's just clips and latch. To take off the top panel, there are two Phillips screws on each side. Simply remove the screws on each side and set them aside. Remember, when you're working with any sort of screws, be mindful of where you are keeping all these screws, so make sure you keep them all in the same area. Before you start removing the panel, there's actually two hidden screws that I've come to learn. The screws themselves are located inside on the back side of the handle where you pull down the trunk. To access that, as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and do a removal. I'm going to put the handle back on, and I'm going to show you how to remove it. So now it's off. I'm going to pop it back on so you can see. You're going to slide a plastic trim removal kit on the exterior. You're going to get in between the two seams, and you're going to do your best in terms of separating one side. Once one other side is separated, you can go ahead and use either a, a card or another plastic trim tool kit to get interior to unclip the remaining clips. So there I finally got in and it pops right off. So if you look from the interior side, there are two screws, one on each side that's holding up the trunk. Once you remove these two Phillips screws, again, set them aside. The panel will come off not that easily the reason why the panel came off that easily is because I, under this video, was removing the clips already and then come to realize that there are two more screws. So you can see, had I removed the handle, this would have come off much easier. So just go ahead and pull downward and the clips will gradually pop off. Take your time, make sure you have some hand placement when you're pulling. I would encourage you to use gloves. It really helps from any sort of cuts and or wounds that you were not anticipating. And as, as you can see, I was struggling because of those two screws that I did not take. So this is just to show you why those two hidden screws on the handles were critical. But once you remove those two screws, you should be able to pull and pop those out. So now that's popped out, we're going to go back and work on removing the emblem. As you can see, I'm using blue tape, which is very easy to clean and easy to remove. And the reason I'm using the blue tape is for positional purposes. Uh, when I install the new replacement Kia LED rear emblem, 
I know exactly where it should fit in, re in respect to the original location and design. So I'm going to tape it down. The emblem itself is identical, but what makes the LED emblem larger, it's because of the acrylic that is housing the LEDs. As far as the removal technique, as you can see, I use a heat gun. You can use a blow dryer. I use emblem wire removal. Do not use fish wires. Or you can use floss and just simply go back and forth. If you heat up the emblem, your removal will go much, much faster. Because what you're doing is that you're warming up the, the glue that's underneath and allowing the emblem to slice right through it. As you can see, it's all off. I'm going to show you from then on, you should have either dirt or remaining adhesive left. What you also don't see here is that there's no holes in the back. You're going to be asked to drill a hole. So make sure you measure out what that hole will be. In the future, we're going to provide a template. So the template will give you exactly how big the emblem is and where the hole that you need to um, identify. So what I'm doing right now is just removing the larger adhesive using my hands, um, which as long as you can grab the larger adhesive, then go ahead and do so. Once most of that is removed, grab a spray bottle with a combination of water and soap and just spray the area if it contains a significant amount of dirt. Just spraying it quickly, you can see it just comes up. Do not put too much pressure. Let the, the soap work its way in. If you see any additional adhesive left that's hard to remove, you can break it down by using some Goo Gone, as you can see here. The Goo Gone doesn't take too, too long, and it'll come off relatively easily. As you can see, it's been sitting for just a few seconds. This part, you do have used some elbow grease now that it's all gone i've also drilled a hole measured it out and i'm routing the cable through so i'm going to go ahead and work the cable through there's three cables but you're really just going to be using two of the three which is one of the power for the led red light and the ground now i'm using the blue tape as you can visualize as my positional tool again i'm going to rely on the interior emblem not the acrylic to measure so i'm going to do my best in in identifying where the location will be um, after i get comfortable or after you get comfortable with where where it should align you can start removing some of the adhesive tape on the back side the adhesive tape is the same adhesive tape that many, many car provider uses when they use their emblems. So I'm going to remove the adhesive tape. Again, I like to double and triple check my positioning. I get it to a point where the adhesive tape is off. And I'm, again, just looking at the positioning of the emblem. Now, if you're fairly certain, you can probably just take the entire adhesive off. Um, you can certainly move it around a little bit if you don't push down on it. So I have it with the blue tape aligned with the outer Kia emblem because when I remove the original one, that's how the blue tape was situated. So now I'm going to remove the bottom and also the remaining blue tape as well as the adhesive on the back side. Pretty confident at this point that the location that I am seeking is determined with high degree of confidence. I'm going to go ahead and push down on the emblem now with the adhesive. Make sure that it's again aligned using the blue tape. And at this point, feeling pretty good, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the existing blue tape from the car. 
Prior to adding any adhesive, I actually wiped down the area with rubbing alcohol already, which helps with the curing. I would highly recommend you do the same. So the emblem is now officially on and we're gonna push down on it shortly. So the next slide, or couple of 10 seconds, I'm gonna show you where the tap is. If you wanna pursue a tail light tap, it is right behind the trunk. You're gonna tap into the green and orange to the lights and then the ground to ground. If you're pursuing a brake light tap, you're gonna to go to that area where I'm highlighting in the smaller window. And again, you're gonna find the ground and the tap. And this is the end result. If you have questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you.